Okay. So we are looking at and tasting and eating llama jerky. Yes. Right? So, and this is from British Columbia. And here are some samples of what we've been tasting. Absolutely amazing. It's tender, so it's a lot easier to eat them than normal jerky, which is kind of tough, right? Like, I don't think we're going to So tell us what inspired you. What inspired me to use llama was that there was a lot of them around. I'm a meat producer. I do beef, pork, lamb, and chicken. And we were looking at the llama and saying, what else can we do other than shear them? So we tried it for personal consumption, and it went over really well. We invited some of our rancher friends over, and we'd have a beef steak and a, a llama steak on the barbecue, and we'd say, which one do you want? And they'd pick the llama steak, and they'd eat it, and they'd say, this is the best beef I've ever had. Yeah, it's really good. And we went, no, it, it's not beef. So then we started treating it as our beef product. So anything we do with our beef, we do with our llama. So jerky, sausages, pepperoni, cold cut, summer beer sausage, uh, it's all there for the llama. And this is part of uh, Coyote Acres Ranch? I That's... am Coyote Acres Ranch, okay. and this is one of my products. In the North Caribou, forgive me, but I'm only up here for a few days. Where exactly is that? Quinella, uh, Quinella is almost the center of the province. It's about a seven hours drive from Vancouver, a one hour, well, 50 minute flight. Uh, we do have direct service. Wow. And we're equidistant from Williams Lake and Prince George. So you really traveled far for this event. We did. You should, you know, there's a travel conference happening downstairs. You should be there too, because like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll think about that for now. No, yeah. I'm grateful she's here. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. So you've got, okay, so we've been tasting that, and then there's also this amazing syrup. Tell us about the uh, syrup the, that the you have. The birch syrup is uh, also from Quinell. Quinell is the largest production of birch syrup in Canada. Five years ago, there probably wasn't a market for it. Um, and then some of our producers, some of our ranchers started looking at it. It's considered to be an agroforestry product. Very similar to maple sugar in, in the fact that you're tapping the birch trees. Um, but then the cooking process is a little different, but you are, with the different sugars, having to cook it down. So when it's tapped from the tree, the sap comes out uh, clear, relatively flavorless. And after you cook it down, it takes about oh, eight liters to make one liter of, of, of syrup. Um, it turns into an amber color. How long and does that take, that process? Good question. I'm not the bird syrup producer. No worries, no worries. Okay. <laughs> but it's clear when it starts. But it's and then... clear when it starts through the cooking process of changing the sugar molecules within the sap. Um, that's when it changes color into the amber, and the flavor really starts coming out. But this is darker than amber. It is. That's been cooked a little more. I got it. It's really, really good. Yeah. Really yummy. And do you have a website where people can go find out more information? Uh, we do. Um, we have a couple different websites. So if you go to www.quinellinfo.com, okay. that's our uh, general economic development website. You'll and that's Q-U-E-S-N-E-L.com. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Um, and then for uh, the birch syrup, their website is... Have to look at this. Uh, SweetTreeVentures.com. Sweet Tree it sounds like a venture capital firm. There you go, and it's all one word. And then for more information on the llama and other products that we do, we're at CoyoteAcres-Ranch.ca. Okay, perfect. I'm definitely going to check it out, and thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you. Okay.